I'd just like to say happy one year anniversary, everybody. Yep, that's right. Cosmic Chaos is basically a year old. This episode took over half a year, but it's basically done. So, um, yeah. This field of asteroids goes on forever. Proteus, any idea where we are? How should I know? What do I look like on map? There. Hey, Robolad, got a map installed in you or something? I do not. Sorry. Hmm. Maybe we should get one from somewhere. Bingo! What are you doing? Everybody sounds as well as you guys will need them. No, Miranda. This is much more important than your alien conspiracies. Travelers! Yeah. Welcome to the Asteroid Belt. We sell board games, directions, and funny jokes. Alright, tell me a joke. You! You're a joke! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> That'll be $5.99. Well, I'm glad you clarified that you guys sell directions because we need a map. Somebody say map? Why does she sound like that? Take talk, my British ally, and to answer your question, yes, we require a map. One map coming up. Thank you. Now, uh, uh, not so fast. If you want the map, you gotta pay us. Thanks. Here's your map. Have fun doing whatever it is you're doing. I'm clinically insane! Uh, Aya? Are you sure we're going in the right direction? Of course. That kind of bell is the most obvious hiding spot for Planet Nine. Uh, to Taiki? <laughs> Dude, she's an urban legend. Apparently, she's like some guardian who watches over the solar system. Most of those crazy dwarfs in the icy belt worship her, even though she's definitely not real. Well, she sure wouldn't be a good help if something was wrong, you know? Uh, guys, I think I see something. Or someone up ahead. Let's talk to them. Uh, Gooey? Hello there! <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. Uh, hello? Before you even try asking, my name is Boreas. I'm already tired enough from you ICs going up to me and asking me in the first place. Were Jupiter and Saturn's major moons? Do you by chance know where Planet Nine is? <laughs> So, Titan. How are things? Poorly! With Rhea gone, I have to do everything by myself! Well, why did you need Rhea to do stuff for you in the first place? She's your second largest, Saturn. I can't waste my time getting up constantly just to sustain myself. You think using your sister as your servant is the answer? Well, what can I do? I'm the second largest moon in the solar system, so everyone thinks I can just do stuff without needing any help. I'm not smart enough to build a robot like Triton, or nice and respected like Ganymede. Plus, I feel like I should be the most respected moon around here. I'm way more special than Ganymede, because I have an atmosphere, and he takes all the fame for his size. I don't have a choice. Is that seriously your best excuse for being a gem? Still, Titan, you shouldn't put others down just because you feel like you're more special than them. Well, it seems like that's the only way to get respect around here. Titan, you know that's not true. If you want to earn respect from others, if you want them to like you, then you need to stop treating them like your servants or like they're a level below you. You want people to respect you because you're nice to them, not because you scare them. I know I'm not involved in this, but maybe you should just humble yourself, Titan. Anyways, now I'm going to plan a week-long vacation to the Trappist One system. You are all coming. Yeah! So... This, this is the super, super weapon, weapon he's, he's trying, trying to charge. Well, that is quite super. Agreed. Agreed. So, are you ready for your task, little one? Sure, what is it?
I need you to find me a bunch of space to breathe and stick them in this hole up here. What will that do? It will overload the machine, causing it to break down and no longer be usable for destroying stuff. I guess that makes sense. Do I need to come back in a certain amount of time, or...? Take as much time as you need, but try to check in every once in a while just so I know you're not missing. The other planets already think I'm missing. Alright then. You Yarion Min seriously need to-